So let's talk a little bit about Unix directories. We have the concept of the home directory and that is when the user logs in and has a console they, the location of most of their files are going to be in the home directory. We can find out what the home directory is by typing pwd. That's also known as the working directory. In this case, the home directory or the working directory is slash home slash angel. And in my case, angel is my username. Now, in order to look at a directory, you need to have a command to do that. So the first command that uh, we can use, and it's probably the most used command in Unix or in Linux, is ls. So if I just do an ls, I take a look here and I have a number of directories. Desktop, download, music, public, templates, documents, Caden Live, pictures, src, which is source, and videos. Now I can also do a long directory listing and that's done by doing ls-l. When I take a look I get a long listing of all those same directories. In this case I have desktop, documents, and so on. Going from left to right here we notice that we have these funny looking uh, letters, numbers, dashes, and whatnot. Uh, this is, the first letter is the D in this case and that indicates that that is a directory. Next thing we have are these three letters R, W, and X and that stands for read, write, and execute. So happens that in this case uh, the user, in, in my case Angel, has read, write, and execute privileges. The group, which again happens to be Angel, has read, no privilege and execute, in other words, cannot write. And the last one is for everybody else that's not myself or in my group, and that's read and execute, but no write privilege. Okay, here is the username, which in this case is Angel, the group name, again, Angel, the size of the directory, which is 4096 bytes, and then the date that the, the file was, the directory was last modified. So this was 2011, February 12th, and 1628, or 428 in the afternoon. Now, if we move down a little bit right to here to public, we notice that that's a little bit different. That public allows access, it allows write access to people that are in the group Angel. Well, in this case, Angel is the same as the user, so it doesn't really afford anybody any more privileges. Now if we want to move around, let's say we want to go to a different directory, in this case I'm going to go to the source directory, SRC, I type in CD SRC. Okay. Now you'll notice that I've changed from having nothing here to having SRC, that indicates that I'm in the source directory, and again if I type PWD, print working directory, now I've gone from home angel to home angel source. Again, I can do an ls and I see that there are two files in there. One is hello and the other one is hello.c. So let's do a long listing again, ls-l. Okay, this time we see something a little bit different. First of all, there's no d here, there's a dash. The dash means that this is an executable file. In th this case, the user, Angel, has read, write, execute privileges. The group that I'm in has read, write, and execute privileges, and the rest of the world only has read and execute privileges. They don't have write privileges. The source file, which is just text, hello.c, <coughs> has read, write privileges for myself, read, write privileges for my group, but only read privileges for the rest of the world. Now there's also the concept of the current directory, which we've talked about a little bit, <coughs> and the, the current directory also has a shortcut name, and that's dot. So if I do ls dot, the current directory, it gives me exactly what I expect, what's in the current directory. Now there's a special name for the directory directly above the directory I'm in, wherever I am, and that's dot dot. So if I do ls dot dot, I notice that I get all the directories that are above the source directory. If I do ls dot, it gives me the files that are in the current directory, or I can just do ls, which is much more efficient. It gives me the same thing. Okay, uh, if I go back up, I can change directory to dot dot, 
and again I do PWD and I notice that I'm back at home angel. I can also CD to the root directory. The root directory is the very top of my entire directory structure and it has a special name as well and it's slash so I do CD slash I do PWD and there it shows me that my current working directory is slash. If I do an LS I notice that I have a lot of different files than I had before. These are directories of various other um, system files which we'll go into later. I can also if I just type CD without anything following it what's going to happen is I'm going to go back to my home directory. So I type CD and I say PWD. I look here and I'm back at home angel. So we've reviewed the ls command, the long ls command, ls-l. We've reviewed home, the home, home directories. Uh, we went over what the um, various symbols for the long listing are, whether it's directory and the different types of privileges we have. Uh, also the special names dot, 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 and slash.